Good morning, FOA squad. I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't feel like getting out of bed, but I have some things to do today. I have to get an oil change. Hopefully, I can find me a Valvoline because Valvoline, oh man, they, they do good oil changes. They do good oil changes. Excuse me. Excuse my speech impediment because I don't have my, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse my speech impediment because I don't have my teeth in at the moment because naturally I just got out of bed. It hasn't quite turned daylight yet. I got like a thin layer of frost on my back window as well as my front window. But today is going to be a day in the life of Anthony. So without further ado, in about 30 minutes from now, because I'm going to lay here for a minute, <laughs> let's get this day going and hopefully I'll get everything done today. Alright guys, I am up and about and I'm heading to the grocery store because I have a taste for some oatmeal. So I'm going to get some oatmeal and a couple other items from the grocery store. Should be kind of like an in and out situation. And then I'm going to head to the park and fix me some breakfast. And after that, <clears throat> I'm going to try to find a, a Valvoline so I can get my oil changed. I got my oil changed twice at a Valvoline, and, and ironically, they were both in Tennessee. The first time I went to Tennessee, and then during the course of the road trip, we stopped in Tennessee, and I got my oil changed uh, there. I like Valvoline a lot because they scan the barcode in the inside of your door, and if any Carfax situations come up, it comes up on their uh, screen. And the last time I did it in Tennessee, nothing came up for my car. The only thing came up was um, I need to get, I should get a, like a transmission uh, change, fluid change or something like that in, in 7,000 more miles. So that was good. So I feel, when, I, when he told me that, I felt so much better about purchasing this van. But first I'm gonna stop and get some gas, but it looks like everything is Let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta turn around so that I can use this one. Whip it, baby, whip it, whip it. Oh, you're gonna have to back up. Gotta back it up. Back that bit up. Uh, I don't like facing this way because now I gotta turn around to go back that way. Let's get some gas. I'm gonna see if I can um, Apple Pay. They have the little thing right here. So I'm gonna see if I can Apple Pay. Give me a minute, you guys. All right. Look like they uh, allowed me to Apple Pay because y'all know ever since this little incident in Florida where I went to get something to eat and then next thing I know, I was being informed that someone tried to stake 230 something dollars out of my account at some store. And I was left without a means of getting money until I called the bank and they told me to 
get the virtual wallet, which I already had, but I did I never used it. But I use that bad boy all the time now. If I can Apple Pay or tap the pay, I do it. I did that most of the time during the road trip, so I feel a lot safer when I do that. Drum roll, please. Now, I was almost on empty. $64.03. This gas man lasts me two weeks. <laughs> $64. Oh my heavens. Can you imagine anything else? Even a cargo van? My God, I'd be paying $75. All right, let's head on over to the grocery store, which is right across the street. Pick up these couple of products or items. La, 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 la. Let's see if I can find a, a pull-in spot here. So when I finish, I can pull out. I had to do no backing up. There we go. Uh. All right, let's find some oatmeal. Start with that. I think that should be in a cereal aisle. There we go. I want the apples and cinnamon. And I want to mix that with, because this is something that uh, Michael gave me when we were on our road trip for breakfast one day, and it was good. Good gracious, $3.29. Ain't no sale going on. That is the sale. <laughs> what, no, hoop nanny. <laughs> Maple and brown sugar. All right. All right, I'm in the organic section and this is where the some of the granola stuff is. This stuff is expensive. Oh my goodness. I want something that's going to taste good. Look at this one, blueberry and flax. I got the fruit nut and flex. I think I'll go with, yeah, I'll get this one. Blueberry and flex. Cause I heard flex is flex, if I'm pronouncing it right. It's supposed to be good for you. All right, let's move on. All right, I'm gonna get me some some bowls that I can throw away because when I fix this oatmeal, I don't want to be cleaning no bowls out. Too many cracked corn. What is going on with the price of these things? Can I get a cheap bowl? Oh my gosh. Why so much? Look at these. And here it is right here. 
let's see. Oh, they got some flavor ones. How many in here? 90 tablets. And look how much this fix it then costs. 600, I'm um, 600, Lord have mercy. I, I let all my teeth fall out. <laughs> 600, $6.39. $6. $6. $6. $6. $6. $6. $6. $6. $6. Man, that smells so good. The apples, the brown sugar. Gotta make sure you stir it up good, though. You don't want no undone oatmeal. Man, that smells so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here because I don't like mine it's too stiff. There we go. I had to shut my door because Somebody pulled right up and was gonna, I guess, walk their dog, cause this is a dog walking park, I guess. People drive their dogs here and walk them so they can take a poop. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is really good. Mm -mm -mm. Now, normally I put a little bit of milk in mine. Mm. I'm turned in the wrong direction. So when I open my door, people can see. You don't need to put no sugar in this. But with oatmeal, it'll stiffen up on you quick if you don't eat it. After I finish this oatmeal, I'm going to look up and see if they have a Valvoline in this town or I might have to go over to uh, the next town over uh, New Jersey and because I'm sold on going to Valvoline. I love the way they do oil changes. Oh. 
Oatmeal keep you regular. I don't know if that's a good thing for me in the van life. So I'll be on the lookout all day today. <laughs> Plus this oatmeal is getting a little stuck up at my on my dentures at the top. But my tongue is taking care of it. <laughs> Looks like a nice day outside. It's warming up. It might hit the 50s. I crack up. I crack up when I hear other van dwellers saying. Ooh, it's cold out here. It's in the 40s. I'm like, 40s? That ain't nothing. It was 30 degrees <laughs> here at night. <laughs> That's not cold. Wait till you get down to those teens. That's cold. All right, guys, I am here at the Valvoline and the guy just came out and while I was waiting in line, he said he'd go ahead and check my my headlights and everything, my signals to make sure all those are working. So now it's just a matter of waiting until it's my turn to get up in there and get this oil change. Right, guys I'm finished with my oil change I always feel so much better about my car when I get an oil change and Valvoline Valvoline does a little bit extra than what a standard I guess oil change place that you go to like a Goodyear or a Firestone or one of those places as I mentioned to you guys before they scan your barcode in your door to see if any Carfax issues comes up and today um, nothing came up but I did have to get a uh, power steering flush because I had none <laughs> no power <laughs> it was something I don't know if it was a power steering flush I think it was anywho I got that done and I love the way they keep a good record of the things that you have done and the things that you have coming up that needs to be done. It said on here that I need a tire rotation. Some Valvolines do tire rotations, but they don't do the balance and everything. So, you know, after you get a tire rotation, you get a wheel balance as well, but they don't do the wheel balance. So it's probably not a good idea to get your tire uh, rotation from there. But anywho, I'm heading to the library now and I'm gonna do a little bit of work there and then I'm going to uh, do some laundry and that's pretty much going to wrap up my day. Alright guys, I'm going to make a quick stop at the Lowe's right here. I want to exchange my um, Reflectix row. I have a, a smaller row up top in my roof uh, storage and I want to exchange that and get the, the wider row so that I can make a panel for my uh, back window. So. Let me run in here right quick and do that. And then be back on the road and heading to the library. I thought it would take a minute for me to find this Reflectix. It's usually down here in the installation 
Ah, here we go. Ha <laughs> Got all this stuff in the way. All right. Oh, I think it's cheaper here. Oh no, that's the little one that I had. Wouldn't that be a mess? I buy the same row. All right, this is the one I want. Yeah, it's twenty-seven bucks. <laughs> All right, guys, got my Reflectix. Let's go pay for it and head on to the library. So, a good way that I find my car now in the parking lot is I look for my storage. Uh, <laughs> compartment up on the roof that helped me out a lot now <laughs> you know how sometimes you come out of that bad boy and you forgot what uh where you park so now i just look for that bad boy up there and that helps me out have you guys ever shopped at um retiners because i see that they have one right across the street from the lowe's I might go in there one time. I think they got one of those in Baltimore and East Point Mall. I've never been in there. I might, out of curiosity, stop in there and see what kind of grocery store it is and check out their prices and everything. But that would be a little bit out of the way to just come to go to the grocery store. <laughs> and I got one right there. But who knows? All right, guys, this is gonna be my last stop at the library. I'm gonna work on some FOA merchandise. Look what's on the back of my shirt. I'm walking around here like this. What in a hoot nanny? Anywho, I'm gonna stay here for about gonna stay here for about two hours and work on some merch i got some uh more information coming to you guys about that very soon because i have been working really hard at getting some foa merchandise put together uh pretty soon you guys are going to be seeing the new FOA logo that will be on most of the FOA merchandise. I'm pretty excited. It looks so good. My friend in Florida, she put together some um, designs for me, but I decided to uh, tinker around and come up with something. Um, I loved her designs, but when I went to tried to put it on different items, especially the company that I was going to use for the merchandise. When they sent me the proofs, I didn't like the proofs. And one of the designs that she made for me, they said was a little too intricate. I mean, it was just two colors, but of the same color. And they said that it, the gradation or something, they explained it to me in the email. So I decided to go ahead and tinker around and come up with a design that I think will go on every color, whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's uh, anything, you know? And I love what I came up with. I love when I can be creative and I can't wait to show you guys that. And that will probably come up in the next video because I have some other announcements that I wanna make and share with you guys as well. But as far as this video is concerned, thank you guys for spending the day with me, even though it's relatively still early here today, but I've completed everything that I wanted to do. I have not gone to the laundromat, but based on the way my sweatshirt look, I should be doing that after I get out the library. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video today. Thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that and I'll see you guys the next time.